as we're now entering the second month of 2024, the key theme for February is all about aligning ourselves to our soul's higher timeline and our soul's higher path. Meaning that the reason for why our soul has come here at this time, at this point in life, becomes very important. What you're meant to be doing now moving forward this year. This year is all about living a soul embodied life. We're now in the age of Aquarius. So there's a lot of growth, a lot of transformation, a lot of innovation that is happening now moving forward. So your role of being an empath, a healer, an intuitive, a psychic, a light worker is becoming very important and your role in this as well. And in this video, I want to share with you the key things that I think you should know about February and the key energies of this month, as well as the key dates, the cosmic dates, so you can put those on your calendar so you can work the energy. And also how to really make the most out of the energies, the potent energies that is really available this month that will see you then align yourself to your soul's higher timeline and your soul's path for why your soul has come here at this time. So February doesn't have a whole lot of cosmic dates. We only have the new moon on February the 9th and we have the full moon on February the 24th. Of course, in between, we also have Valentine's Day as well, but that's not really a cosmic event. But the new moon on this the 9th, on February the 9th, brings with it a heart opening. So your heart center is receiving a massive upgrade on the new moon or around the new moon. So definitely mark your calendar for that. And then on the 24th, February the 24th, we have the full moon and that brings somewhat of an, an energetic opening and also an energetic easing up because a lot is happening this month alone. So there are a lot of upgrades happening. Now, I'll tell you more about that here in a moment. But these two cosmic events, I want to invite you, mark your calendar for that. And by the way, I will also be uh, doing a gathering here on YouTube where I will share light language activations for each day to really bring in the light codes for the full moon. So definitely stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I release new videos and also make any announcement for the gatherings or anything else that uh, I think is important to know for my community. So definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already. So these are the two cosmic dates I want to invite you to mark your calendar for. Really put them on your calendar because I want to invite you to really take time out on those two days to really tune into the energy and maybe even join me for the gathering to receive the light codes as well. So that's it for the cosmic dates. Now, the key things I think you should know about February is that, first of all, it's really all about uplifting yourself and aligning yourself to your soul's higher timeline and soul's higher path, meaning that you will receive a whole lot of upgrades this month. So February is really the month where you're getting a lot of upgrades, like your, your heart center is receiving an upgrade, what I just mentioned with the new moon. So you're really receiving that, that heart center upgrade so you can come more from the heart, so you can live more of a heart heart-centered life. Your heart center is truly being activated so you can also feel more compassionate towards yourself, towards other, and really live that heart-centered life. So your consciousness is also receiving an upgrade to really tap more into the higher level consciousness where you truly become aware of your higher path. You're also hearing guidance more clearly because your team of guides are there. Your soul is there to nudge you, to guide you, and you will be able to hear that more. You also, your belief system is also receiving an upgrade to really believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, believe in your desires, believe in that, that uh, better life, a uh, more expansive life, a more expansive way of going about life is truly possible for you. Your thought patterns also receiving an upgrade and also how you look at things. So February is really the month where you're getting massive massive upgrades to really help you align yourself to your soul's higher path and higher timeline because what your soul has come here to do now really takes center stage. It's becoming so important that you are really stepping into doing what your soul has come here to do in a small way, a more evolved way or a very expansive way. If you already have been doing what your soul has come here to do, you're also receiving then that invitation that asks to really evolve what you have been doing now moving 
forward. Now, if you want to learn more about your path as a light worker and a healer and psychic and intuitive, now now in this new earth template in the age of Aquarius, there's a video in the description I want to invite you to check out where I talk more about how your role is really going to evolve now 2024 and moving forward. So definitely check that out because I talk more about your role as a light worker. And, and this is really what's now starting in February. Uh, February is also the month where the, the Chinese New Year begins. We're removing into the wood dragon signs. That's also going to be an exciting period of time as well. So a lot of shifts are happening in February. So definitely check out that video about your role moving forward. Then the second thing I want you to know is that there's also that the internal drive to really move forward, to take actions, to take those deliberate soul aligned actions to really help you move forward. Because like I just mentioned, what your soul has come here to do becomes very important, really takes center stage now and moving forward and really starts with February and you're receiving all these upgrades to really help you align yourself to that. So you will also have that drive to really act on those ideas, the insights, the nudges that you have received, really making those changes in your life, adjusting things, changing things, taking steps, taking actions, making decisions, making the plan and then really acting on that plan. Because your higher path truly calls for your attention and for your deliberate approach to really make it happen, to really create that life that your soul has come here to live, do the things that your soul has come here to do, especially now as we're in this new earth energy. So think of it like that. You're receiving the nudge or you're receiving the sign. It is time now. Your time has now come to really step into what your soul has come here to do in a more evolved, elaborate, expansive way. You will know what that looks like for you, whether it's you just continue doing your own work, your own inner healing, your own, you know, discovery and learning more or whatnot, or then actually then turning it outward and really helping others, teaching what you have learned to, uh, to others, or just being the leader, being the way shore in your own life. And then also maybe even for others, you will know what that is, right? Because your spiritual path really evolves now moving forward. 2024 and the age of Aquarius is really the beginning of that more spiritual led life. So you will continue doing your work now moving forward. So you will know what that is. You most likely have received insights already up until this point, and you will receive more insights with all these upgrades, these downloads that are coming in this month. You will then know, you will really have that deeper knowing that, okay, now I know what I'm meant to be doing. And then you're really being asked and you're receiving all these inner nudges to really act on that as well. Then the third thing I would like for you to know is that in February, there will come times of deep inner contemplation mixed with times of massive actions, because you will then feel guided and feel nudged to take time out to really go within, to receive the insights, receive the plan, to meditate more. So you will feel it's, I'm getting the sense like ebb and flow. That's what, what we're going to be experiencing throughout February. There's going to be times of ebb where you're really taking time out to really go within, to slow things down, to meditate more, to contemplate more, to go within, to really open yourself up to receiving the insights, the plan, the next steps, the, the guidance and things like that. And then there's going to be the, the flow, right? The, we're having ebb and flow. So we have the ebb where you're going within and then the flow is where you're then taking massive actions. Now this can happen, you know, from one day to the next, this can be like a couple of days where you're really in ebb, where you're really tuning in. And then you have a couple of days where you're really taking massive actions. That can also be maybe a few days of going within and but then a couple of weeks maybe of taking action. So just go with what you're feeling called to be doing. But this month is really about that ebb and flow, that going within and then taking action. So just make time for that. If you're feeling called to really go within, if you're feeling a little slow down, make that time and space every day to tune in. Whether it's you journal, you ask certain questions, let's say, you know, what is most important for me to know today? Or maybe you're, you're consulting your, your Oracle cards or anything like that. Maybe you're going to get a reading or you're doing your own readings, if that's what you can do, or just simply just tune in and connect with soul, with your guides, with your higher self to receive the insights. Once you have gotten the insights, because usually what happens is you're not going to get the entire plan. You're getting bits and pieces and you're meant to act on the bits and pieces. So as you're taking the steps, 
you're getting then the next guidance then you're acting on that again and then you're getting the next guidance that's why you it's the ebb and flow right you're tuning in to receive guidance then you're acting on it so that's really what's going to happen this month throughout the entire month of february is where you will feel that sense of inner contemplation and then massive action but just be aware you want to create balance between the both you don't want to overdo it in one area and then, you know, forget the other area, right? So you want to find balance. Whenever you're feeling called to take some time out to contemplate, do that. But then move into that action phase to really bring that balance. Because if you're only contemplating and getting insights, getting guidance, you're missing the important part of actually taking action. If you're only taking action, 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 and you're not contemplating, you're missing the part of receiving the guidance. So just try to bring as much balance into both aspects throughout the month of February and actually, you know, moving forward and as well. But especially in February, because that's really the, the energy is most, most potent around that to really help you align yourself to your soul's higher timeline. And here I also want to mention a video about living in alignment, where I share some tips on how to really bring more spirituality into your life so you can really be in alignment, live a soul aligned life. The link is also in the description below if you want to check that out. Then the fourth thing I would like for you to know is that February is brings a punch because you may not actually feel excited and exhausted at the same time because there's so much that's going to be asked of you in February. For one, you're receiving all these upgrades, these energetic upgrades. So you may actually feel very overwhelmed by all that you're experiencing, especially if you're very sensitive, then you may need to take a little more time out for self-care and really take care of yourself to really embody what's coming in so it doesn't really overwhelm you too much do more of the self-cleansing self-clearing uh, protocols you grounding yourself things like that but there will be times when you feel absolutely excited for all the growth that is happening all the changes that are happening all the ideas that are coming in but then also like i said there's going to be a time of exhaustion as well because what well, you're also meant to act on everything and then all these energetic uh, upgrades that we're getting it can be exhausting at the same time that's why it's so important that throughout February, you really make it a habit to find balance from the contemplation part to the action part to also including self-care and all of that. So you want to really bring balance to the spiritual aspects and the physical aspects. And as I mentioned before, 2024 and now moving forward, we're really moving more into a more spiritually led life, living a more heart centered life. So it's, that's why it's so important that we bring balance to the spiritual aspects and the physical aspects. We can't just always be in the, in the spiritual and meditating and doing all that spiritual work without taking action, without really doing the work in the physical. And the same thing applies the other way around. We can't just always just do, 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 do in the physical and forgetting the spiritual aspects of tuning in, connecting, aligning ourselves, getting guidance and things like that. So now moving forward, it's really important that we're bringing the balance. But throughout February, you may notice that, you know, that euphoria of feeling absolutely excited, but then also feeling exhausted by everything that is happening. So like I said, bring more balance to your day, to what you're doing. If you feel called to take a little slower, do that. If you're feeling called to take action, then do that. Because like I said, a lot is going to be asked of you in, fe in February to really help you align yourself to your soul's higher timeline and soul's higher path for why your soul has chosen to be here right in this moment. Because if you don't, then you're moving into misalignment and that brings up all kinds of different problems and we don't want to do that. So create more balance throughout your day. And then the fifth thing I would like for you to know is that by the end of February, you're going to feel that immense sense of accomplishment. Because yes, you may feel absolutely exhausted. You may feel like you just ran a long marathon, but at the same time, you're feeling very much accomplished because all that has happened, all that growth, all the change, all the transformation that happened, all the upgrades that you received, all the insights you received, the downloads, the ideas, all of the stuff that was coming in and how you really shift and also even maybe how you then really brought more balance into your the spiritual and the physical aspects of your life. You will feel that sense of accomplishment accomplishment at the end of February like you really did some major good work in February 
But the, the most important thing is it's all happening in alignment and in that more centered, more aligned and more soul embodied way. And that's really what is important. So February, even though it's like the shortest month of the year, and I think this year actually we have the 29 days, I believe, but there's definitely going to be so much happening this month that is going to really see you align yourself to your soul's higher higher timeline to what your soul has come here to do so there's going to be a lot of shifts happening in february a lot of uh, things aligning for you you're going to be taking a lot of action you're going to receive a lot of insights and those type of things and it's all really to assist you in the key theme for this year is to live a soul embodied life where you're meant to embrace your soul's higher purpose of being here at this time to be that way shower, that light worker, that healer, that intuitive, that mentor, that guide, that that coach or whatever you feel called to step into, whatever role you feel called to step into. And like I said, watch the 2024 forecast so you can get all the details about this year, the key energies and what is going to unfold this year so you can really make the most out of it. But now these are the key things about February that I want you to know. Now let me share with you what can you do to make the most out of the energies of February. For one, prepare yourself that there's going to be that time of inner contemplation and massive action. Like maybe even put it on your calendar that each day you're going to tune in to really connect. And then also put it on your calendar whenever you did, did receive some ideas that, okay, now I'm going to put time aside to actually act on it, to make that step, to take that step, to really act on the ideas that you have received. But and always follow your inner nudges. Follow your inner nudges that when you're feeling called to just kind of take a step back, then you're in that ebb kind of flow, right? That ebb mode. You're you're tuning in, you're contemplating. And then when you're really feeling that, that call to move forward again, that you're taking action. But like I said, remember, bring balance to all of that. Bring balance to the physical and the spiritual. Create a more focused approach to the guidance that you're receiving. But like I said, always create that balance between the both. Okay, so here you go. I really hope you enjoyed this forecast for February that it gave you some insights into, you know, how to really make the most out of the energies of this this month. If you did enjoy this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. Like I mentioned earlier, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I release new content. And now also be sure to check out these videos here that will help you like for one, that forecast for 2024 and then also your role as a light worker moving forward. Uh, these videos can give you some more insights. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Until then, make an amazingly abundant and joyful day. Namaste.